figure out how to pay me off to shut me up because they think money gonna shut me up and money ain't gonna shut me up. Mm. I don't give no f about money. If I gave a f about money, I would have I, I would have tried to I would have continued a relationship to work with Jay Z. It looks like Cat Williams is not done exposing the industry because that man has been steady spilling all the messy tea about all these celebs out here. And some of the stuff he's revealed is very similar to what Jaguar Wright has been trying to warn us about for years. Well, Cat revealing all the shady stuff has put Jaguar back in the spotlight again, and people are saying that all the the mess that has gone down in Hollywood recently started when Jaguar started exposing the celebs. Now, if you've been on social media for a while, then you know that Cat and Jaguar are the industry's biggest enemies. Some people even say Jaguar is basically the female version of Cat. They're always spilling some tea about all the twisted and evil things that go on in the industry. And it looks like the industry is done letting them get away with it because word on the street is they're after Jaguar right. Now this ain't the first time it's been rumored that Jaguar's life was in danger, but this time Kat is involved and he's going to make sure they never get to her. According to sources, Kat has been a big fan of Jaguar for a very long time and he's gonna do everything in his power to make sure she's protected. Y'all already know, Kat has been causing some very major chaos online after he put the whole industry on blast during his explosive interview on Club Shay Shay. He came for a lot of people during that interview and had them scrambling for days to clear their name. He spilled some major tea about big names like Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey, Diddy, and Jay-Z, and a whole lot of other celebs. He came for Kevin Hart by calling him an industry plant and claimed Kevin is nothing but a puppet who was placed in the industry to replace him. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club he already had his deals when he got here have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading no we've never heard of that before that person or since that person what do you think a plant is maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words he just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies. Steve Harvey was also called out for being a fraud and copying other comedians in the game. He accused Steve of being jealous of the late Bernie Mac and claimed Steve was against Bernie when he was alive. But as soon as he passed away, he stole Bernie's whole style and stole Mark Curry's jokes. If that ain't messy enough, he also spoke about the time that Ice Cube and the producers of Friday After Next tried to get him to film a scene of him getting SA'd by Terry Crews because they thought the scene would be funny. Kat said he was extremely against it and told Ice Cube and the producers ain't no way he was gonna film that because there was absolutely nothing funny about it. Kat also said this was a really big risk on his part because this was his first ever movie and they made him feel like he was being too demanding. The truth of the matter is the money Mike in the original script got in the bathroom and that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with. Cat Williams had to take the risk in front of the studios and the cast and our powers that be in his very first movie and say respectfully, humbly, guys, if we talking about anything else, I have no credibility and I have no pull. But we talking about comedy, right. where I have all the credibility and all the pull. The problem with Friday After Next is we're trying to make a classic comedy and this comedy involves a and is never funny no matter who it happens to or what the circumstances are. If you would allow me to allow us to do this movie without a black man getting in it, I promise you that it will be twice as funny as it would be with him getting raped. So considering that's the real story, why would you bring up that story? 35 members of the cast and crew have never brought up that Ricky Smiley was 
gonna play Money Mike. No one ever saw me put on a Santa Claus suit. We got a wardrobe department. They made a Santa Claus suit for me. Why that wasn't in the bloopers? Why? Now the craziest thing about all the stuff that Kat said in that interview is that it's all stuff that Jaguar Wright has already said in the past, but she got labeled as crazy. For example, during Kat's interview, he went off on Diddy and accused him of indulging in some shady behavior behind the scenes. All of these uh, big deviance is all catching hell in 2024 it's up for all of them it don't matter if you diddy or whoever you is tg jakes any of them the every all lies will be exposed that's all and and, and and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way because the people want to know well, why would he get blackballed yeah oh, because because that. because in 30 years i've done nothing but collect information knowledge and your secrets so if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing you will tell it no somebody come to tell me okay i gather that i value that i'll pay for that come tell me i know so many things i shouldn't know and they all know it they all know it. I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my in front of all my people at my agency. But see, this is something that Jaguar had already exposed in a series of different interviews. She accused Diddy of taking advantage of his power to get young men and forcing them into doing things they ain't wanna do. In fact, a few years before Diddy was exposed by Cassie, Jaguar went on one of her IG rants and revealed that a lawyer who used to work for Diddy in the past told her about the time that they walked in on Christopher Williams giving Diddy some top in the office. Jaguar claims Diddy knew Christopher was straight, but still forced Christopher to go down on him in exchange for a record deal. Turned into an album deal, which that never happened. Um, but this young woman walked in to get approval on some paperwork, see? And uh, when she walked in, the door wasn't locked, so she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio on Puff. Now, from what she said to me, um, it was disturbing because, you know, they didn't stop. She just walked out and she just kept her head down at the office the rest of the day, I believe it was. And I don't think it was at the end of business day that day, but I think it was the following day. He came into her office and was like, yeah, so you came in there, so what? What you gonna do, you wanna say something? And she was like, oh no, I, you know, I just, she was like, I just don't understand why you left the door unlocked. If you were in there doing that, why would you leave the door unlocked? He said, I'll do whatever I want to do in my building. And she was, I just don't know. He was like, it's power, see? I can make a man, he said, if I can make a man suck my d I can make people do anything. But it wasn't just Diddy that Jaguar came for, because she also accused Jay-Z of hooking up with Foxy Brown when she was just 15 and infecting her with an STD. Yeah, Foxy deaf. She deaf because she had the syphilis because she never got on in venereal disease treated. Y'all should go back and talk to all of the that she slept with in Philly when she was in Philly. She burned every last one of them. As y'all already know by now, it's been rumored for years that Jay started hooking up with Foxy while she was still a teenager. Apparently, he forced her into this relationship in exchange for a record contract and allegedly dumped her for Beyonce, who was also just 18 when she and him started dating. Now, while Jaguar was revealing all of this, a lot of people were scared for her because they thought she was gonna be slapped with a lawsuit soon if she kept running her mouth and telling the entire world everything they've been doing. But it looks like the industry had other plans for her. Instead of them throwing a lawsuit at her, word on the street is they've been trying to get her eliminated. It's still very unclear who's actually coming after Jaguar since she's revealed some very nasty things about a lot of people over the past years. And sources claim that Kat has been working overtime to protect Jaguar because he knows what it's like to be targeted by the industry and have nobody to defend you. 
And if y'all remember, the industry also tried to come for Kat and ruin his image when they started flooding the tabloids with allegations about him being a raging addict and that he lost custody of his kids. He had nobody to defend him and he doesn't want Jaguar going through the same thing. Now, as usual, people had a whole lot to say about this and they took to social media to make their opinions known. Like this person who said, these celebrities had already been exposed before Cat Williams or Jaguar Wright said anything about it. The problem was society was too busy allowing themselves to be manipulated and programmed by the corporate establishment media, which is controlled by Hollyweird. Another person said, if society had a better read and recognition on how these celebrities, politicians, and athletes utilize double talk to their advantage for the purpose of deceiving the masses, you wouldn't have to wait for somebody like a Cat Williams or a Jaguar Wright to expose anything. But now I want to know your thoughts on this whole mess. What do y'all think about Cat Williams allegedly protecting Jaguar? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.